Hello my friends, welcome again. So here I have opened the documentation to create a for creating employee management application. And here we have the employee management. We display a list of employees with search and filter by employee name and department, but I'm not filtering by employee name because I'm going to search by the employee name. So we're just going to filter by department. We don't have that. So if we are here, we just search by the name. Yeah, we don't filter. I'm going to fix that. And we have a create, update and delete employees. Yeah, we can create, update and delete, but when we have this, I want to add the date picker here. And for that, if you go to the Laravel live, live Livewire uh, screencast and you sir, go down here and you have in the custom form inputs, here you have a, a using a date picker pick a day and you pick a day in the GitHub. This here you just uh, install or we're using the CDN with styles and you can add the pick a day. Uh, I'm going to use another one. Uh, which is flat picker and this is very easy just uh, I'm going to use a CDN here as well copy the CSS and in the VS code I need to open the mine blade PHP which is the default or layout and copy the script as well and at the bottom we have a livewire script after that i'm going to add the script and usage is just add the require flat picker or in my case i'm going to use the with a jquery because we have a jquery for the Yeah, we have a jQuery here and I'm going to create a script here, script and add it here, this one, optional config, we don't have optional config and div with the name selector, but I'm going to change this and add uh, id birth date because we need if i open the employee index blade here we have a, a form and the form has the address country defer department zip code and yeah we have a birth date and the uh, date hired so we need sorry we need two of them a birth date with id birth date and we have the id birth date here also i want one more for the date hired date hired save this Well, we can do like this and save and uh, I think we are okay now if I go here and refresh new employee and yeah we have a date picker go and create new one our employee yeah we store the employee and uh, we have two caspers here that's okay 
if I open the table plus refresh yeah we have a two last name Paul Casper and so on and here is the birth date and date hired and here the birth date and date hired and that's if I open the I'm going to close the main blade now we don't need that open the employee index class and this I'm going to open in the right as a, always here we have a carbon pairs I am going to remove that and uh, here also here also here and I'm going to do the same thing in the update okay save and uh, come here refresh again create new one Meyer and choose some random dates and of course yeah we add the same date here date format okay update the Casper and I'm just going to say Casper up update yeah successfully updated refresh and we have a uh, Casper up and have the same data okay now we fix that the next thing is the add the filter by department so I'm going to add the select drop down here for the department and come here and I think we have a, yeah we have an option for the department copy this one and go up and here we have a search I'm going to add div class call and wire model remove that and not department ID but selected department ID I'm going to call it like this and we need to add it here public dollar sign selected department ID by default is going to be null yeah and uh, I want to change this to be the same thing as we have here copy and paste uh, save this and the refresh here and yeah we have a uh, choose choose department okay and so on now here is the thing we have employees if we have a search okay else else uh, else if we have uh, selected department ID we need to say the employees is going to be employee where department ID is this selected department ID and uh, paginate by five okay save and uh,
come here and refresh and here we have uh, two departments for the Laravel and three for the PHP lovers if I select PHP lovers yeah we have only three select for Laravel and we have two of Laravel now if I refresh and uh, I'm going to search for Casper, copy this and paste it here and the these are with the uh, PHP lovers department I'm going to change this to Laravel and uh, nothing happened I want to search by Casper and also by Laravel by department name so here what I'm going to do is uh, if we have a search we are we are going to search by first name and also I'm going to check if also we have uh, this select department ID sorry uh, we are going to do employees is going to be the same thing as we have here but we need to sorry we need to add one more search where statement here and where the department ID is going to be this selected department ID and else add this so if we have a search and if we have a select uh, the department ID we are going to make uh, this query else we just search by the name hope makes sense for you and yeah save come here refresh we have all of uh, employees and I'm going to filter by department okay now I'm going to search by this name and this has the Laravel department okay I'm going to change the department to PHP lovers and now we don't have any results okay that's it so I think uh, now we are done with that uh, I have uh, in mind one more uh, series to create a project and I'm not sure if I want to add the role and permission you comment in this video if you want the role and permission if you don't want that I'm going to start a new project if you want the role and permission you have in in my channel just for role and permission with from Spati I have a video for that but if you want again here comment and I'm going to create an crowd for the role and permission with the live wire okay friends hope you enjoy and all the, all the best thank you very much